So for Glasgow and the surrounding areas, get set for another scorcher. Temperatures set to soar into the 80s today and no let up as we head towards the weekend where there is a distinct likelihood of temperatures reaching 90, which London enjoyed yesterday. Shut up. What are you? You're walking as if you've shit yourself. Take your time, Jack. Pacing myself. No sudden movements. How's that? Well, according to this, we are in the midst of one of the most dangerous times for pensioners. This heat wave could claim more lives than the sub zero snap in January. That's a bastard, isn't it? What's that? Well, people always say that pensioners, all the days, complain about the weather. But the truth of the matter is, unless it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit on the button, chances are you'll freeze to death or fry to buggery. I will know me. It's lethal out there. Dropping like flies they are. Jesus, Jack. Steeping your feet in this weather. <laughs> what are we doing today? Well, it's no question of what we're doing. It's about what we're avoiding doing. Aye. No running about, no hauling, no lifting, no cleaning, no exertion. It's the normal day, then. Aye, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> You hear about Andy Carslow? The bastard with the bastard dug. <laughs> yeah, the very same. The man that bit Winston, sure. Aye, what? Aye, well, Andy rolled up to the bookies yesterday in his car, left the dug in there for two hours, never rolled the windy down. When he came back out, the dug was cooked through. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> Have I hated that bastard? Uh, you want a cold drink? Bring it on, Jack. <laughs> mm, tempting. I was thinking more along the lines of lager. Uh, good call. I hope I skip and I jump to the clansman. Sweet, sweet fan, work your magic. <laughs> Come on, Nippy, give us a shot. That's been a full five minutes. Hazard buggery. Here, Drew. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, you's no here today. Can I help? No pain for the mini eggs. Selva's good? I bet they're hot. Oh, Jesus. Hot mini eggs. You were off your nut. It's a hot day. <laughs> you don't come in in December complaining about your mini eggs being too cold. I will, I'm looking my wing. Hope many eggs. Oh, it's your lucky day. It's too warm to argue with you. There you go. Do you know what you should do? Tell me. Do what they do doing in coolies. Put all your chocolate in a cooler cabinet. That's a great idea. You can put your methadone in there as well, huh? <laughs> Keep it nice and chilled for the next time you're rattling. Get out, you junky bastard. Asshole. Whatever. <laughs> The summer's finally here, Levit. Eh? You know when the polis are in their summer uniform. They look that smart and well turned out. No. Post. Oh, aye. The summer uniform of the postie. So smart and well turned out. Oh, he's a used to sign for us. Oh, aye. What's this? Bill, 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 Bill. Well, that's that then. What? Harry's dead. Put your back into it. I'm bloody melting. Hey, Arthur. Hey. That's Jack and Victor here, Bobby. Two lager. Hey! What are we doing out here? Can I sit in the clansman? It's like an oven. Oh, what? We were hoping for a bit of rest, but it's bloody roasting out here. Hey, Jack and Victor. Here, I meant to tell you, <clears throat> I met eyes on the vids. That's Harry did. Oh. How is she? She's not the slightest bit bothered. Ach, she's well rid. Yeah, I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but he was a prick. That's <laughs> bloody terrible, that. He was a prick. He gave her the life of a bloody dug. Aye. He'd been away for ages. They were divorced for years anyhow. He'd only turn up and tap on money. Good luck to her. 
to Wagga. Jesus. <laughs> Shut half now. It's Tarzan. <laughs> Put it away, Bobby. You lad did, body. Thanks, Winston. Anybody else? Aye, I'll have a pop. <clears throat> You're like an albino on hunger strike. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Michael Jackson's cock. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Bobby. That's bloody roasting. Aye. The killer's no working. It's packed in. Oh, God almighty. That's bad, that. What? Them wains they are messing about with that hydrant. <laughs> I know what they're up to. They're trying to get the lid off of that. Shut up. They're just wains. They're just plain. They've got nowhere to go or nothing to do. It's dangerous, that. And it's not just that and all. The fire began to be lying in five minutes. You can be charged with that misappropriating a public service. They're up here trying to turn that off while some hoose is burning another part of the city. For God's sake. I'm no putting up with that. I used to be in the fire brigade. I'm going to say something. <laughs> Eric, sit down. This is murder. Oi, the city's no place to be in heat like this. You know what we should do tomorrow? Go to the park, get a nice sweet carry out. Uh, six ice cold tinnies in a poly bag. Ah, the park's ain't mobbed. No, 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 no. Not if you go down early enough, you know. Get a nice wee spot. Spend the day. Yeah. Yeah, look at Eric. <laughs> what is that, Navid? What is what? I can feel you watching me. What is it? I told you to go home when you're still here and mopping. I don't need to go home. I'm fine. I used to have an uncle, a sheer. I loved him dearly. I used to spend summers at his house. His wife died in the flood of 62. And you know, it didn't seem to affect him at all. He was still funny, telling stories, crazy, just his usual self. Then one day, must have been six months later, I kicked a jug of water over at his house. He went Ape shit with the grief. <laughs> Wept for two solid days. Inconsolable. Oh, what happened to him? Once he had let the grief out, he was much better. He released it. A couple of years after that, uh, he died. He was in the field and got bit by a snake. You have to let it out, Isa. Don't bottle it up. Come here. Let it go, Isa. The grief. Come on. Come on. I know you're trying to be brave, Isa, but the existence of a person, it's like a serpent. It has a head and a tail, just like the serpent that took my poor Uncle Ash away from me. <laughs> oh! I miss you so much, Ash! Much of a spot there, see? Nah, but it'll have to do. <laughs> oh. Oh. Location, location, location. But is this the best spot you could find? Uh, have you found a better one? Nah. We've been marching about for half an hour. There's a fat bastard out there with a whole bench to himself. <laughs> Winston went for the sympathy vote and flashed his dummy leg. Get hee haw. <laughs> We were doing here this morning at 10 o'clock. You couldn't see the grass for arses. Ten's too late. Uh, that's the prime spot up there, though. It's got the view, it's got shade. Right next to the snack bar and all. Uh, that's where you want to be. Well, come on, we'll go up there then. We'll just mill about until somebody leaves. <laughs> Do you not think we thought about that? Well, it makes a piss and garbage. At least it's quiet. <laughs> the strange thing is, 
Daddy's been gone a long time, do you know? Even though we were never going to get back together, I, I, I still felt... You know... Attached? Aye, but no new. I feel as if I'm... I don't know... Free? It's actually a good feeling. I know what you mean. Like, that's you completely single now. Aye, that's it, Sheila. Completely single. Oh, Christ at my age. This is a great age to be single. There's dances, outings. Yeah, but I do all that anyway. Aye, but you'll be doing it with a different frame of mind now. Oh, how are you? Oh, no. Oh, I couldn't see myself. No. Betty Melville. What age is she? Oh, I don't know. Oh, she's 88. Hey, where is she now, do you imagine? Oh, she's no deed, is she? Far from it. She's in Santa Ponsa, having a lovely time with a fella she met at the Park Mill swimming baths. Oh. Her man died when she was 50-odd. 30 years she spent saying, no for me, that's all past me. Ha, <laughs> 80 bloody 8. 80? And is she still late? Says no. Just companionship. That's nice, that you know. Aye, aye, that would be nice. A lot to be said for having a man in your arm. Yeah. Can happen to you at any age. You just need to uh, dust off your radar. <clears throat> <laughs> what radar? What radar? <laughs> I've not had my breakfast. I can't operate without my breakfast. Makes me grouchy. What time is it? Five past eight. Time to call us, you arsehole. You've got us standing here like a couple of wankers. Jack, Jack. Excuse my friend. He's not had his Rice Krispies yet. Right, you go and get the bench. I'll go and try and organise us a couple of rolls and sausage. Oh, focus, Jack. Come here. We'll worry about food later. The zombies are gathering behind us, and they're not coming here to feed the ducks. They're in here for that bed, so come on, hurry up. Easy, man. Oh, oh, easy, there, man. Oh, look at this in here. Yeah, the thing you dropped your way. Go look there, sir. <laughs> oh, bastards. <laughs> How's he, bastards? How have you done that? Uh, well, we just went into the shop and gave the man two pound and he gave us two rolls and sausage. No, the rolls. The seat. Oh, the seat. Oh, we just got here early, you see. Wait a minute. The parky took the padlock over that gate when he let us in. That gate? Oh, eh. Uh, what is it we call that gate, Tam? Uh, loser's gate. Aye. <laughs> it's generally just for dafties, that gate. <laughs> Face it, boys. He's having to really thought this through. Shut up. There's nothing to think through. You must have come in the Galloway Street gate. He must open that one first. Does he? Shut up. It's no rocket science. See the motor? We'll be sitting on that bench. He's on no be at any bench today if you don't stop standing there like a couple of whinging women bumping your gums. <laughs> oh. Galloway Street, first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah. First thing. So I was thinking about what you see in the cafe the other day, Sheila. Right enough, I'm not that old that I wouldn't enjoy a bit of company, you know. That's what you miss, isn't it? A nice gab. Somebody to talk to, somebody to have a laugh with, somebody that's on your own wavelength, you know what I mean? Aye. A good listener, Sheila. Harry was never bad for listening. And I like to gab, you know I'm gabby. Aye, aye, sir. That's the thing. A lot of men at the beginning like to do the talking. It's no every fella that appreciates that gabbiness. <laughs> I'm no saying. No, 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 no. No, I hear what you're saying. Uh, that, that would maybe scare a fella off that, you know? Aye. And if you don't mind me saying, hen, the cardigan. It's no really summery, is it? Why, well, I don't right enough. I, I never really eat a, a thaw when I put it on this morning. Here comes Billy Young. He's nice. Come on, we'll talk to him. Wait a minute, you Sheila. Shh. Hello, Billy. <gasps> Enjoying the weather? Oh, it's too hot, Sheila. Who's this? This is my pal, Isa. 
Louisa. I used to love some Craig Lang. Craig Lang? I, oh, I used to love Craig Lang. Of course, it's changed a lot now, hasn't it? <laughs> what was the name of that pub? Oh, I used to go in there often. The, the, the Clacken, was that it? No, 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 no the Clacken. But was it like the Clacken? <laughs> Clansman. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to go along to the pavilion, sit and have a nice cold drink. That sounds nice, Isa. Hey, want to take a walk down, Sheila? Um, I. That would be lovely. Is that all right, Isa? <laughs> That's a Is your pal no right? <laughs> Time's it? Yeah, 25 to 8. This is strange. No. Well, if this is the gate that Tam and Winston have been using, where are they? Yeah, right enough. Oh, well, maybe they're not coming today. What else would they be doing? Is that other gate opened yet? No, nope, not yet. So this is the first gate you've opened? Aye, how? No reason. Who do I? Oh, well. Could they accuse us of not being organised? <laughs> Big flask of tea, sandwiches, radio. Uh -uh. And a couple of macaroon bars for three o'clock. <laughs> Aye, you're well sorted. All you're needing now is the number one bench. <laughs> <laughs> you one-legged fat bastard. How in God's name did you... <laughs> Too late! <laughs> uh, don't start with a stick. For as old as you are, I'll take it after you and jam it up your arse. <laughs> <laughs> this is all right, eh? Aye, aye, aye. This'll do, is I. Could be done with a wee bit more shade, but... Aye, well, we're here to soak up the rays. Number one bench. A lot of garbage. Aye, it's a lot of garbage. A bench is a bench is a bench. You said it, boy. I need to sit down. It'll not be long now. I've been standing for 20 minutes. I don't feel well now. It's just because you're thirsty, Charlie. We'll get you a drink in a wee minute. No. I need to sit down. I can feel the sweat running down the crack of my arse. <laughs> Wait a minute, Charlie. Look, the queue's moving. Shut up. I'm sitting down. Right, you two. Budge. Uh, now, wait a minute here. There's really only room for red. Right, so... right <laughs> I'm sitting down. Another cracking day, boys. It was indeed, Eric. Where were you? Oh, I had a good gin. Put the tranny on, filled the bath up with cold water, laid my back all day. Magic. Oh, that sounds nice. You've got to keep cool in weather like this. That's the beauty of that spot we've got. Best of both worlds. Mr. Sun comes up over there and then sets way over there. Go to it all day. Ah, but you're under a tree, you see. And that lets in just enough sunlight. And see when you think you're getting just that wee bit too hot? Lovely breeze comes along and cools you right down. Honestly, Eric, it's nature's wee miracle. <laughs> That's the only seat that gets it to. Everybody else is, well, burning, aren't they? Am I right, boys? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Are you not dancing, Isa? No, no, I'll let you go. All right, then. <laughs> oh, and you've been picking that up in your radar? Certainly am. Right, well, I've walked all the way round the park, apart from the front gate and the Galloway gate. This is it. There's not even a hole in the fence. Well, this must be it, then. Yeah. 
Can I help you? Hey, just come in, son. No in here, you're no. Employees only. This is the service gate. How the bloody hell are they getting in? They must have a tunnel. <laughs> Thanks again, Craig. Jesus. Yes? Money back. What the hell is it now? You're haunting me, woman. I did what you asked. I put all the chocolates in the fridge, just like you said. Oh, you never told me. How did you get on with the dancing? Did you meet the man of your dreams? No. I'm just no cut out for it, Naveed. Sheila and Elsa didn't seem to have a problem, though. Is that who you went with? Aye. Aye, well, there's your problem. You have no way. It's all about perception. They are bubbly, gregarious, attractive women. You are like a novice. You have to stack the odds in your favour. How do you mean? It's who's with you that's the problem. You need to get an ugly pal, a hound. <laughs> then next to her, you look like Kevin and Diaz. Oh, no. What a horrible way to go about things. To do that to another person, that's just like using somebody. Oh, no. No, no. Thanks, son. <laughs> You live and breathe, John McLaughlin. The very same. How are you, Edith, darling? I can't remember the last time I saw you. Well, I can. And neither of us had any draws on. <laughs> Thanks, Isa. Oh, I am magic. <laughs> oh, Lee. Oh. This is magic, isn't it? Aye. I love sticking it to the two old bastards. <laughs> Think they've geared up yet? Oh, aye. There's your pal, sir. <laughs> Jesus, that's him. Hurry up, get a spot on. <laughs> what now? Jump out. Who do you think I am? Bloody Steve Austin! Hey! I really thought this through, have we, Jack? Just go further up the lower you down. Well, here's a good idea. You come up the ladder and I'll come down. Will you go further up to the lower you down? <laughs> hey, Jack. Easy now. Easy now. That's you. That's you. Uh, hey, hey. There you go. That's you. Easy, easy. Jack! Hurry up, you silly bastard. I'm running out of time. Hurry, get off my back. <laughs> oh, Victor, go and get a seat. Go and get a seat. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh. Victor. Face it, Isa. You're never gonna meet him. You don't need to meet him. I enjoy my own company. Trying to meet a fail at my age. It's undignified. <laughs> hey, time you get a seat in this bloody park when they're shutting it. 
Get a wee read at my paper and get up the road for my dinner. Are you local? Just over there in the flats. Oh, aye. Aye, the flats are nice. Hi, Miser. Hello. I love the park. So beautiful. You appreciate a thing like a park at your age, don't you? <laughs> I'm going to take a walk in the Pavilion Palace. You want to come with me? I'd be smashing. Just let me finish up here. We've done it, Jack. Oh. We beat him. <laughs> oh boy, that is beautiful. Oh, the number one bench, eh? This will do us. This is where we belong. Okay, okay. Can I offer you some breakfast, sir? Avec pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Is that clouds? <laughs> eh? <laughs> you want to leave? What? On you? Nelly. <laughs> 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 Harry died. I thought, what's holding me back? Why couldn't I meet somebody else, you know? Why shouldn't I meet somebody else? Quite right. What age are you? Oh, here <laughs> you! <laughs> well, I don't mind telling you, I'm no spring chicken. I'm not long off retiring. Aye, but I see you're wearing a wedding ring. Uh, all the good bands are taken. I'm sure you'll meet somebody nice. Anyhow, shall we? Aye. Which one do you think it is? Number four, Debbie Pig. 